Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Man, does it feel good to do some fishing today. As you guys saw in the last video, I actually vlogged. If you guys want to go check that one out, please go do so because I want to get back into vlogging some more. I want to try some different content and I just film some entertaining stuff. So if you guys could go watch that last vlog, give me some feedback on it after this video. But today I'm with my boy Fletcher. I haven't seen Fletcher in such a long time and I uh, got old Fletcher what's in going the vlog on, guys? today. So uh, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna be doing some fishing, hunting for some big bass. Um, he said the fishing's been... It's been, it's been weird. Fished for like three hours, two days ago. First two and a half hours, just meh. I mean, I was catching a few here and there, and then the last 20 minutes, I caught 15 to 20 fish. It was, it was crazy. So, so. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um, that fall bite should be picking up around here. So uh, it's so late in the year already, dude. It's crazy to even call this fall. So I guess we're gonna see what happens today. You know, I'm gonna rig up some baits on my rods and just go out here, have a good time. It's been a minute since I've fished and I've been, you know, I was sick and all that stuff. So. We're going to hop right into it, have a good time, and uh, if you guys want to go check out some of the Big Bass Energy merch on the website, I'll pop the link up on the screen and down below. Um, if you support the brand, I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys that have ordered stuff off the website. It means so much to me, and I just love seeing people walk around um, repping the brand. It's just a good thing to see. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button, and we're going to go ahead and hop into it. Let's hop on the boat, rig up some rods, catch some big fish. Let's get it. Alrighty. Just got on the boat. We are ready to kick it off. I am excited. So I got three rods with me today. Let me show you exactly what I got rigged up. So I have a, we're just gonna show you right here. A mock crush this is the new mock crush. Beautiful paint job on that bad boy. On this one, I just have a regular Texas rig. Got a one fourth ounce bullet weight and a three aught EWG hook. And I have a broken crawl on there. I'll take that off here in a bit. And then I have two poles under me. I have one, which is a mock smash. You know, this is the one I love for my smaller crankbaits. I'm gonna be using this guy a good bit today. That line looks horrible. So let's pray that it's gonna cast for it. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that's yeah. looking crusty. That's looking very crusty. I'm telling you, I haven't fished in years, bro. So uh, we're, we got the mock smashed today with a crankbait. I'm going to be cutting that crankbait off and putting a different one on. And then I have a Custom Pro on a Mach 2. This has been my favorite combo recently. Fantastic. This reel is amazing. And a 17 pound fluorocarbon. Have a chatter donk on here, which I'll have to change out that trailer. Had a little nibbler titty biter on the end of that one. Um, yeah, I just oh, bit my titty right off. Can't believe it. A little chartreuse and white chatterbait. You know, the last time, a couple videos me and Fletcher filmed, they've just been munching this thing. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I ain't going to complain. If they're going to eat it, I'm going to keep throwing it. So let's go ahead and finalize our pulls, get casting, hook a five pounder. Let's get it. I'm gonna rig up just a little paddle tail right here on the back of this bad boy. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Hopefully they munch this today. I'd like to get in a chatter donk bite and hopefully they'll eat the crankbait good too. All right guys, I'm, I'm and Fletcher. We're looking at some of his crankbaits earlier and there was a cool, a couple cool, neat looking guys in here that, I think it was this one. What you think about that one, Fletcher? I think that's gonna get munched. Little natural color one, I, I like that. The last time we fished over in the section, I, that exact same, oh, it was this one right here. It was the one that, that was chartreuse, that's yeah. That's the one I got the six pounder on, but. Was that was the last time we fished, wasn't it? I or just so. about, just just about. All right, we're gonna tie this crankbait on, just a little natural one. This one actually dives 10 foot. It, it doesn't look like it. We were just talking about that, but um, it, it dives it 10 foot. It gets down there. It gets down there, so that's about all we need. I'm gonna throw this on the smash. Like I said, I love that rod for like smaller crankbaits like this. Perfect, it just feels so good. We're gonna cut this chartreuse square bill off, which is a great little bait, but not for today. I just want a natural bait in this somewhat clearish water. And not only that, but during the fall time, I tend to stick to natural colors. Um, you can throw, you know, crawfish patterns and some chartreuse crankbaits, but generally, you know, a natural color is, is what I use this time of year. If I was fishing dirtier water, like if I was fishing on the river, I never change from like a crawl or a chartreuse pattern. It's rare that you'll ever see that from me just because the water's so murky. But in here with it being clear, I think that's going to be the, the little trick today. I'm just hoping we can fire them up. That's one thing about a crankbait bite and me and Fletcher the last couple times we fished out here, we fired a bunch of fish up. So let's go ahead and get it started and uh, see what we can do today. I'm actually going to throw the chatterbait first, but I will get this ready because I'm, I'm going to be going back and forth. You know, there's going to be some places where I want to throw a chatterbait more up shallow, 
once we start fishing out here in the middle where it drops off i'm, I'm gonna start throwing this crankbait dig on the bottom there and that's usually how we'll catch some big ones let's grab this chatterbait and uh let's get to casting I don't either. Big catfish, yeah. <laughs> yeah, watch that happen again. <laughs> I just finally want to go bass fishing. That's what happens every time you know, I catch just something weird. Oh, that was horrible. Okay. It just literally went. Yeah, I'm going to catch another six pounder right here. That'd, be, actually, that'd actually be a lot of fun. There he is. That one? Yep. I can't tell if he's big or not. He feels big. Doesn't feel like a bass, but I haven't fished in a while, so don't mark my words. It is a bass. They have them hooked so weird. Look at that. It's tiny. Yeah. It's a pounder. But hey, guess what? Hey, you're on the board. First fish today. Out of both of us, this is our first little bass sighting today. It's only about a pound right here on the crankbait. He ate it very weird. Not gonna lie. Me and Fletcher were just talking about it and you know, it's so calm out today, and usually with this crankbait bite. Double. Nah. -uh. Yeah, oh, double. that's a big and any. Uh, he's got a monster. Or is it just your rod? Your rod's a little lighter than the yeah, one you were. He's running at me, though, but I could double up right there. Heck Ooh, yeah. Bass in the boat. Let's go. <laughs> About the same fish. Double trouble. Look at that. We just fired him up, and hopefully we're going to cast right back in. Look at that. Uh, ooh. Dang twins. Dang twins. <laughs> Literally, literally. I can't that's, tell which one's bigger. That's funny. Two About a pounder. Thanks for the bite, bud. That's Heck yeah. That uh, felt good, dude. I'm telling you, I have not fished and it feels like forever. Like This feels like the longest break I've taken for fishing in probably five years, bro. At least that's what it feels like. I don't know. Oh, maybe that would have fired him up right there and we'll get some more bites. Did he bite really light too? Uh, he actually hit it pretty good. He didn't like hammer the piss out of it or anything. So this is the thing I was saying, guys. It's really calm out today, and usually when you're throwing a crankbait, you want a little bit of wind, and uh, there is zero wind right here. So <laughs> it's going to be a little tougher to get those bites, but I will say something about a crankbait, you know, it's a reaction bait, and something about a crankbait, a bass just wants to eat it. I don't know why, but if you reel it past his face, the majority of the time he's going to eat it. Something about that wobble. But uh, let's see if we can catch some more. Hopefully there's a lot stacked up in this corner. By the way, we did see a lot of bait on our graph towards the mouth. And uh, that's what kind of keyed us off. We also saw a bird eating over here. He just got hit. Yeah, just got the right there. Yeah, fish look big on your rod because I think so flimsy. Yeah. There he is. Got him? Yep. That's a better one, I think. Oh, yeah. Big? Dude, I don't know. That big? I have no idea, but he... <laughs> He's fighting so hard, dude. Am I just, like, weird? Because I haven't... Oh, I have him hooked under the chin. That's a good fish, too. That's a two-pounder. Look how I have him hooked. Yeah, they're not eating right. But heck, I mean, he... he... Smacked at it. He got it. That's a weird eat. Can't complain with that. Yeah. Yeah, we got the best fish so far. We both caught us a one pounder. Now we got a two. Where are them pliers, Fletcher? You got new pliers. Yeah. Are these the ones that we bought at the store? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Fletcher always has these like little pliers, and sometimes sometimes they drive me crazy. I just like to be able to grip onto them good. There we go. I got a couple of his scales on that crankbait. A pretty fish. That's what a solid two. Close, yeah, close. close to two. It's probably a pound and three quarters, two pounds, but pretty little fish. That is our third one so far. All three on a crankbait, so it's a good little sign. That bite was so soft, so soft. I wish these gnats would just stop. If I knew they were this bad, I would have just wore sweatpants. I actually took them off before I came here. Better get this little scale off. I had them hooked all. You got a little souvenir? Got a souvenir. Put that one on the wall. I don't know if they're biting weird or my touch is not there right now because I haven't fished in a minute, but I just feel like they're biting weird. Yeah. Another next cast, bro. Get down a little bit 
That's a that's a better one. They're getting bigger every time. Look how they're fighting, bro. They're cracked out. Yeah, that's a, oh, that's a bad one. That's a good fish, dude. I don't think he's three. Oh, he might be. I don't know. He looks like a high too. Yeah. I'm gonna bring you over here, bud. Look at this. This is next cast, guys. This is what we're talking about. Especially with this fall bite. Look at that. You can tell the colors on these fish with it getting cooler out. See how much lighter they are? Mm -hmm. A solid two pounder right there. It might be a two and a half. Heck yeah. You want, you, all right. I'll hold them up for you. You got it? <laughs> Look at that. Go guys. Twin troller. Thank you. Okay. Fletcher. Oh, you got one? Dude, they, this is a big one. Big one? Yeah, it's a big one. Dude, like that's net. third cast. Yeah, I need a net. Net? I think. Don't don't make me look like a fool. But this thing feels huge. Yeah, I just, this is actually in a third cast. I've caught one. Oh, he's not. Why is he? Why are they he's, fighting like that? He's pretty good. They're I mean, fighting so hard today, dude. They're eating that deeper one. Yeah, they are. I'm gonna throw that crank on. You have another one, don't you? Yeah, I got a few of them. Look at that. About high, high. He's a two pounder with how fat he is. Yeah, that's a good fit. Decent little. All right, guys. Here we go. Two pounder. About, that's a good fish. That's a fat one. Three casts in a row. Okay. Crazy. There you go. Oh my gosh, I got a fray. I had to retie that thing, I had a big fray. So to talk about what we're doing right now. So we got this little pocket, there's a huge flat out there, very shallow, and then it drops off back in this pocket. And right now, you know, creeping up into this fall time, these bass are feeding up on bait fish. And we scanned a lot of bait fish out here on the edge of this little tiny pocket and right out here in the middle and there's also some structure out here in the middle that these fish are sitting on as well right now with the cloudy conditions these bass are roaming a little bit more we're just throwing these reaction baits and catching these fish that are over here roaming chasing bait so that's pretty much what we're doing and uh it's it's, it's paid off we've caught what probably about five yeah five we've caught we've caught five in this pocket and there's still a lot of fish to be caught in here um we haven't had any big ones yet but like i said i i think there's some big ones in the area. We just got to keep on casting, get in front of the right fish. And once we start catching multiple and get all those bites, I mean, you, you just start firing them up, just like what you saw. Have three fish and three casts. You know, something about that crankbait. If you keep catching them, they're just going to keep biting. But let's uh, keep on casting and see if we can find us a big one. Still gotta set up this reel. We just switched up to some slow moving baits, guys. I got that little Texas rig on. We're just trying to, you know, we came in here, covered a bunch of water with moving baits. And before we leave here, we wanna make sure that we thoroughly fish the spot. So coming back through with the slow moving bait, see if we can pick up a couple fish. The bullfrog bite, bite. I saw the, I saw the I'm gonna boil. catch him. Uh, I ain't taking no for an answer. Bro, it was a freaking moose. It was a moose, Fletcher. Digging? Yes, dude. It was like a freaking four pounder. It was a moose. I, I told you the bullfrog chirper. <laughs> I knew there was a bullfrog. Son of a biscuit, dude. That was a big one. So I was too ball. late, dude. I was just pulling my... Mm. I was just slow reeling it on the bottom, man. He just, Maybe we should pitch and flip it. God, dog. I was hoping he was going to be right under it. And I was... Oh! Jeez! Yeah, I know the GoPro saw that. Holy mother of pearl. There's some... Some fat donkeys. Crawl. This dock has some good memories, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Great memories. This is where Larry hooked me in the face. Right here. Yeah, that's where Fletcher got a frog to his his dome. 
<laughs> nice. Out of all lures, it was a frog, too. Good thing it was the one one hook frog you will ever see in your life. <laughs> I've never seen a freaking one hook hollow bolly frog. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, got him. Oh, yeah. Squeaker. Why are they fight? Do they're fighting so yeah, hard, they, aren't they? They got some juice. <laughs> Today is something with it, and they're biting so weird. That's the funny part. Angry. Oh, that's a two. That's two pounder. Nice. Maybe I'm gonna pick it up. See if we can fire some off. Pick up that thing. Let's, let's get these fish. Fired get them fired up. up. So that is probably uh, that might be the best one so far today. That's for a good me. fish. It's not super long, but he is really pretty dang filled out. Pooped on my hand. I uh, appreciate that, bud. Yep. Hey. Noah's on. <laughs> Yo. Yo. He's trying to get himself in the dock. Calm down, Becky. Yeah, they're right here. What a weird place to... This is the smallest fish and the darkest fish today. Look how dark he is. He's been under that dock for centuries. Look at that. What in the <laughs> world? Crazy. Look at the colors on him. As fat as can be, too. You know what he's doing? He just sits on that dock, and then when a little bait fish goes by, he just goes and... Look at the colors on that fish, though. Can you get that sound effect one more time? One more time. <laughs> Look at that. He's got, like, the colors of the crankbait. Literally. He pretty much does. That's hilarious. What? A little fat, dude. That's what that that was a good example, guys. Of firing those fish off. You know, he hooked one. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put this chatter dong down and pick up the crank, and there's another one sitting there. Ready to slurp her on here. Might be another one. Let's see. Just gotta make sure they don't bring us under the dock. A... God, doggy D, what are you doing, Jimmy? Oh, yeah. I got one. On the troll. On the troll. He feels probably Look feels, at this. It probably feels giant. I'm not even controlling. reeling it. <laughs> Dude, that's how I felt last time. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. When you hook one and when you're cruising like that, they feel. I'm just like. like a tan. <laughs> oh. Good for I have two fish on? Was there? No. <laughs> That bite was awesome. It's so fun when you troll like that and you catch one. Oh man, he's fat as can be too. He's been chewing. We just started trolling. We're trolling to a new spot. That is probably one of the best fish today. Just thick as can be. And he just hammered it. He's trolling behind the boat. We're gonna do that again. See if we get another one. There he is. Yeah. That feels like a better one. It's right down the pipe. I can't tell if he's good or not. It feels good, but heck, almost every single one of these fish today felt good. Nope. Same size, dude. Pound, pound powder. Yeah. Calm down. I'm going to get you right off, buddy. Sit. Thank you. Get you right off. I swear they can understand me, dude. Every time I tell them to sit, they sit. Wow, it is a beautiful day outside. It just feels good to get out here and go fishing. Like I said, I I just haven't been fishing the last few weeks. I've been so busy with traveling and um, then I had my buddy Connor's wedding that I was at and then I got sick and oh my God. Oh, I almost had to sneeze so hard right there, bro. It just wouldn't come out. <laughs> come on, just come out. I was about to say, you just paused back there. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Anyways, it's just beautiful. Like, look at this right here. Look at that sunset. Can't ask for a better day than that. Can't ask for that. Any better. It just sucks that it gets dark so early now. That's the one thing that I'm just, man, I hate. But uh, needless to say, it's a beautiful day. You know, we caught a lot of fish. And I wish we would have caught some bigger ones. You know, we were hunting for those big bass today, but they just weren't biting. Fletcher's been fishing the last few days. He's had a rough time catching some big ones and um i just think it's because like i was talking about that fall bite you know the smaller ones are going to start feeding up really heavy and not until that water tim drops to about 65 to 68 degrees are you going to see some of those big ones start to feed up and 
Um, really started catching good on this moving bait. So only time to tell, but uh, I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. I really appreciate y'all's support. Please hit that like button, smash the heck out of that thing. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I will catch back up with you guys with another episode. Probably gonna film a bank fishing video tomorrow, so I'll have that out next. Um, I love you guys so much. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Mm-hmm.